Hello, and welcome back to the SolidWorks Composer Quick Start Guide, a new series designed to orient new users in Composer and familiarize them with some of its basic functionality. In the ninth and final video, we've been covering the various ways to export your Composer files into different formats. If you're interested in seeing how to export your files to PDF or Microsoft Word, check out the first and second parts of the video, both of which will be linked in the description below. This video will cover how to export your Composer files to HTML. Let's get started. You can see I have our Composer file queued up. I'm going to start by going to File, Publish, then HTML. Before we save, we need to select a profile, the form in which our Composer file will be outputted. There are a variety of profiles to choose from, but in the case that you do not have a SolidWorks Composer Player Pro license, only the simple option will be available. Since this is a basic guide, we're going to select simple. Now we can view the HTML file we just created. As you can see, we can rotate, pan, and zoom this piece as if we were looking at it in Composer. We can also create our own profiles. If we go to the Program Files folder, then navigate to SolidWorks Composer and Profiles, you'll see corresponding files for each profile that we saw before. If we make a copy of one of these and save it in the Profiles folder, it will become accessible as a profile within Composer. We can modify its properties by opening it in a text editor such as Notepad. Let's try changing its name. We'll scroll to this line of code then change the simple field to new profile. Now, if we open Composer again, we can see that our new profile is now selectable. It's also possible to embed your Composer files in existing HTML files. It does, however, take a fair amount of HTML proficiency, so we won't cover this topic in depth in this video. But keep in mind, when sharing your HTML files with friends or coworkers, they must have the HTML file, the SMG file, the CAB file, and all supporting files for the HTML content. That wraps up the basics of HTML in Composer. We've covered a few general concepts, but some basic familiarity with HTML coding will go a long way in allowing you to add even more functionality to your Composer files in HTML. We hope that you found this video, as well as the rest of the series, helpful in explaining some of Composer's basic functionality. These tools are the foundations to creating powerful and insightful deliverables from your CAD models. If you wish to learn more about Composer, the blogs and forums are a few great places to start, and both are linked in the description below. Additionally, if you have suggestions for topics you'd like us to cover in a similar format, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and we hope you're able to find Composer useful.